Hello students, welcome to class PM. In today's class, we are going to learn about electromagnetic spectrum. So, we are discussing about spectroscopy. In the previous classes, we will learn about what are the significance of spectroscopy and what are the electromagnetic spectrum and what are its characteristics and what are the parameters that describes electromagnetic radiation. Now, in today's class, we are going to learn what is electromagnetic spectrum and what are the different types of electromagnetic radiations present in it. So, electromagnetic spectrum is nothing but all the existing electromagnetic radiation, all type of electromagnetic radiations, if we arrange either in the increasing order of their wavelengths or decreasing order of their frequencies, either we have to arrange them in the increasing order of their wavelengths or decreasing order of their frequency. That band that arrangement is called electromagnetic spectrum okay here if you see that we arranged all the different types of electromagnetic radiations in the decreasing order of their frequency so which you are seeing here that is decreasing order 10 to the power of 24 to it's keep on decreasing up to zero okay either in the increasing order 10 to the power of minus 16 to it's keep on increasing up to 10 to the power of plus 8 or 8 okay so, if we arrange all the electromagnetic radiations in the increasing order of their wavelengths or decreasing order of their frequencies is called electromagnetic spectrum. You see here, gamma rays are the electromagnetic radiations which are having the very low wavelengths and high frequency. Okay? We already discussed wavelength and the frequency are inversely related. Okay? That is why these gamma rays are having very low wavelength and high frequency. So, that is why they have possess highly enriched. Okay? If we go this, this side X rays, UV rays, infrared rays, microwaves, short radio waves and the long radio waves. Okay? This keep on decreasing their frequencies and increasing their wavelengths. So, here in the UV and infrared between we will get our visible spectrum which we are able to see with our naked eyes that is the visible light okay? which is a combination of seven colors WebGR, violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, red. It is present with the wavelength of 400 nanometer to 750 or 800 nanometer in that range a visible spectrum is present which is also part of electromagnetic spectrum. Okay? So, this is electromagnetic spectrum. Now, we will see that in these electromagnetic, one more also we can include in this the cosmic rays. Cosmic rays are highly energetic, they have more energy than gamma rays, they were found only in the outer space. That is why we did not include in the cosmic rays here in this table. Okay? Cosmic rays are having highly energetic than gamma rays, they found only in the outer space. Okay? So, that is why I did not include here. Okay? This is called electromagnetic spectrum. Now, we will see how these different electromagnetic radiations causes different changes in the substances like some causes nuclear changes, some causes outer electron changes, some cause inner electron changes. Okay? Which type of radiation causes which kind of transmission that we will see in the next table. We can see here in this table. So, transfer of radiation and the type of transition. So, we already discussed spectroscopy is nothing but study of interactions between matter and electromagnetic radiations. So, matter can be any substance which we want to study about it and which we want to analyze it. The matter can be any chemical or the biological substance, but here to study that particular for example, I have taken a sodium uh, vapor, I have taken sodium vapor, I want to study about the sodium vapor. So, I need only particular type of radiation, I cannot use whatever I want radiation, no. Sodium vapor requires a one type of radiation like that. So, different radiations have different purposes, okay. That is based on these radiations, what kind of changes or transmissions make in a substance. So, that we are seeing in this table now. So, this is a here this column shows the type of radiation, here this column shows type of transition occurs in a substance. So, with gamma rays causes nuclear transitions, okay, they changes in the nucleus. Next, X-rays, they causes inner electrons, either those inner electrons go to the excited state or ground state. So, the transition changes occurs in the inner electrons. Next, if you use UV rays, 
uh, in the visible spectrum there is a change in the outer electrons so transition occurs in the outer electrons if you use near infrared range of spectrum what happens we will get changes in the outer electrons and also in the so particular molecule make some vibrations also vibrationary energy also will be produced so outer electrons and molecular vibrations next infrared so infrared rays causes again molecular vibrations next microwaves causes molecular rotations as well as electron spin flips so we know that electron has two kind of spins clockwise spin and anti clockwise spin we will show with that upward arrow mark downward arrow mark okay which values are of plus of minus of so these microwaves changes transmits electron flip along with molecular rotations now here these radio waves they will make nuclear spin flips okay changes in the again nuclear spin okay these are the different type of radiation and what kind of transition they cause in a particular substance or like atoms and molecules that we have seen in this table